This is an absolute cracker of a movie. Easily Sofia Coppola's best since Lost in Translation, but also completely unlike anything that she's done before. It's reworked from the 70s Clint Eastwood movie and the novel that that was based on. It's set at the tail end of the American Civil War and a wounded Union soldier, John McBurney, played brilliantly by Colin Farrell, is taken in by the girls at this abandoned girls' school. They should be handing him over to the Confederate soldiers. They're in the middle of Confederate territory, but they don't. Nicole Kidman, the head of the school, decides that the Christian thing to do would be to keep him under lock and key and tend to his wounds. And there's an absolutely crackling scene where she bathes his body while he's still unconscious that reeks with perversion. The atmosphere is thick with heat and sexual tension and psychological torment. And there are other characters as well, not only an electrifying Nicole Kidman, but also Kirsten Dunst, the spinsterish teacher who dreams of marriage after he wakes up and charms her. And Elle Fanning, a teenage pupil who lusts after him. It's this sexual game of cat and mouse that ratchets up and up to an absolutely explosive last 20 minutes.